All right, so we're going to show you how to replace the mechanism on a 12, 18, or 24 inch custom clock. So first we're going to show you the, the things that we'll need. You have your 12 inch clock right here. These are the mechanisms that we use. Today we're going to be working on a B mechanism. So if you have an A mechanism, and I'm going to show you the back of them here, the difference. So the B mechanism has white all the way up. The A mechanism has a little bit of white and some silver. So today we're going to be working with the B mechanism and that's for the smaller the smaller clocks. This is a low torque mechanism. All right, um, so here are the things that you're going to need. Um, we use this type of a wrench. Uh, if you don't have something like this, you can use point and nose pliers. Just be really careful that you don't scratch your clock when, when turning the nut on that. All right, here we have a hanger and a rubber washer. We also have a metal washer. This will go on the front of the clock and the nut, the, nut, the metal nut. So now we're going to show you what to do and how to replace your mechanism. So here you have your low torque mechanism. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your hanger on the mechanism. Now there's some little notches right here and there's notches right there as well. Those notches will fit right in and you're going to want to hear it click so it can't really move around. And it goes, it goes just against the clock just like that. It fits right perfectly. So you make sure that doesn't move. Then you're going to take your washer and you're going to make sure that there's some bumps on that side. That's going to go toward the mechanism and you're going to push it right like that. Now the flat side is going to go against the clock. All right, so now we're going to take our 12 inch clock and we're going to put the mechanism in through the back of the clock like that. All right, now, I am going to hold the mechanism in, with my left hand. I'm going to push it in, make sure it's nice and snug in there. All right, now I'm going to take, and you're going to want to make sure that the, the hanger is at the 12 position, okay? And um, the washer is important back there because it will help it so that the, the mechanism doesn't spin. We want to make sure that the mechanism doesn't spin. All right, we're going to put the, the metal the metal uh, washer there and you can see on it's a it's kind of shinier on one side and the shiny side will go up and uh, and that's the part that will show alright so we put the washer on and then we're going to take the nut and we're gonna put the nut on next and you're gonna to want to be real careful to not scratch your clock I'm gonna do it by hand at first but you can see that I'm holding the mechanism with the back with my other hand so I'm going to screw this on very gently when I get it to about as far as it'll go making sure that the that the mechanism is still at the 12 I'm going to take my wrench and I'm going to gently turn the the nut you want to make sure that whatever wrench you use you do not scratch the face okay so I the main thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just make sure that this doesn't move and you can see that kind of moves a little bit so I'm going to have to tighten it a little bit more um, by pressing down and giving it a little you don't want to get it too tight because you'll break the mechanism if if it's too tight all right so I've got that on there sometimes it makes a little mark around here and, and, and it will wash off the nice part about these clocks is that they do wash uh, you'll just want to use a very soft cloth. All right, so here we have the clock and the mechanism is now on. And now we'll show you how to put the hands on. All right, so here you have your clock that has the, the mechanism in now, all right? So here are the, the, the next things you're going to want to put on. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your hour hand, which is the shorter hand, okay? And gently at at pointing at the 12 o'clock, you're going to just press down with both hand, with both thumbs very gently because you don't want to bend the hand, you don't want to bend the metal, but you do want it to go on the very bottom um, thicker white piece of, of plastic there. All right, then you're going to take your second hand and it's going to go next gently. You're going to just press it, press it on facing the 12. Okay, 
And uh, that was actually my nail you heard there, but it should just go on, not making any noises. It's just a real gentle press on there. And then you're gonna take this. Now this is a press on, a press on uh, top here. You're actually going to take it and press it right into the hole there. And uh, all right, now that my hands are on and it's facing the 12, um, you can see that I'm going to only take my index finger to set the clock. And I just make it go round and round. Now this is going to be on the 12 inch, the 18, and the 24 inch. The 30 inch will most likely have, uh, they, they, it might even be on the 30 inch. It depends on the hand, if it has an A or a B, and you just set it to the time that is, you know, what time it is right there by using only the minute hand. If you push the hour hand, you may make your, may break your mechanism. So be real careful to not touch the hour hand and just only use the, the minute hand. If you need to, to bend your, your minute hand or, or your hour hand just a little bit, you can't in order so they don't rub against. But as you're setting it, just make sure you don't scratch the clock with your nail or your rings if you have rings on your hands. So just be real careful. They do scratch, but they are beautiful and um, they wipe real nice with a, a soft cloth. And, um, and that's how you change the mechanism for your custom clock. All right, so today we're going to show you how to replace your mechanism on your custom clock. Now, these are the things that we will have you use. Um, you are going to want to first look at the back of your the clock. If there's a problem with your mechanism and we need to send you a new mechanism, you, you just look at the back of the clock and you should either see an A or a B on, on your mechanism. If you've ordered, um, you know, several months ago, those may not be on there and you can just tell us the size of your, the size of your clock and we'll send you the, the correct mechanism for that. So here's how we do this. So you have your, your A and your B mechanism. Today, right now, we're going to learn how to use the, uh, replace the A mechanism. This is for the larger, this is a high torque mechanism and we use these mechanisms on generally the 36 inch, 48 inch, and 60 inch clocks. So right now we're going to learn how to use that and to replace that. If you have a 36, a 48, or a 60 inch clock. All right, the most important thing is you're not going, you want to, going to be very careful to, to replacing these. You're going to want to use the right tools. This is what we generally use to replace it. But if you don't have one of these type of, of uh, dr drivers, you can use just a, a point of nose plier. You'll just want to be very careful not to scratch your clock. Okay, we also have here a, a nut, a metal washer, and a rubber washer. And these are the things that you'll be needing to replace your, your mechanism. And we'll show you that next. All right, so we're getting ready to put the, the mechanism into the back of the clock. And we're going to pan up here and show you the back of the clock. This is a 48-inch clock, if you can see what that looks like. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our, wa our rubber washer and the, the mechanism. And you can see the mechanism is, is right there. And we're going to put the rubber washer with the, with the flattest side facing the clock. So we'll put the rubber washer on like that. Okay, then we're going to take the, the mechanism with the rubber washer and put it straight through the clock like that. All right, so I'm getting ready to put my hands on. Now, if by chance there's a little mark that comes here, sometimes you can mark it. Uh, the nice part about these clocks is that they do wipe real well as long as you don't scratch it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this on. Sometimes it goes on, and, and if you put the second hand, I've used, you can see I've got the second hand. This is the hour hand. I'm sorry, this is the minute hand. I'm actually going to use that and get it on there until I can get it to the point where I want it. Then I'm going to carefully, you know, take the hour hand, and with my thumbs at the 12, I'm pointing at the 12, I'm going to then just gently push, press down. You don't want to push too hard, but you want it to be on there real nice and firm. That is going on the white part of the mechanism, if you can see that. The, the minute hand is actually going to go on this metal part, so they're going to actually run two separate uh, two separate, um, basically, ways. Then you're going to put the 
minute hand on, they're both facing the 12. You want to make sure that the minute hand is not, you know, leaning forward or up too much. You kind of want it to be pretty much parallel. And then you'll just gently put on your, your uh, little cap here. And you want to make sure it's in there nice and tight. Now, if for some reason it, it doesn't feel like it's gone on level, you, uh, one trick might be that if you, if you turn the, the metal piece backward and, and until you hear a click, it'll actually click and then you can hear the threads are on where they need to be and then you just turn it back where it needs to be. Now, if you gently just pull backward a little bit, you can separate these hands and providing a nice space between those. You don't want to pull back too far, but you, you can kind of, you know, give it a little tug if you need to. Now from here, we're going to set the clock and we don't have a battery in and that's important to not put the battery in, to not have a battery in when you're setting the clock. So what we're going to do is we're going to just with our index finger, gently take the clock around. Now you can see that this may touch if you need to kind of bend that just a little bit so that it doesn't hit the, it doesn't hit the hour hand as it goes around. You also want to make sure you don't scratch the face as you go around like that until you set your time properly, okay? So there's your clock. You've now put your mechanism in with your hands uh, and, uh, and hopefully your clock runs well. Then you put your battery in. Make sure you put your battery in uh, properly. It will show you how to actually put the battery in. There's a little picture of it on the back. Sometimes we can put the battery in backwards and it's important to put the battery in uh, the right direction. So uh, there you go. That's how you put in a, a, beach, a 36, 48, or 60 inch clock mechanism.